And welcome back to more PGA Tour. And um, this is round two of the Wisconsin Open at the absolutely gorgeous Whistling Straits uh, Golf Course, which is just an uh, absolutely beautiful Lynx course. Um, anyway, we're round two. We are one off the pace at minus three, tied for third. Project projected cut line is plus four, so we don't have an absolutely terrible day today. We m should make the cut. This course is absolutely freaking gorgeous. I love this. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Whistling Straits Golf Course on the shores of Lake Michigan, live second round coverage of the Wisconsin Open. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. We've got a tie at the very top at four under to this point. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, definitely in contention, just one shot back at the start of play. Uh, wind is actually slightly less than it was yesterday. That's acceptable. Perfectly acceptable. Let's, uh, go for about there. And that should be fine. Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Nice start. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Yes, we're into the wind. Hi, it's great to be here. We are in for an adventurous ride today, the backdrop of Blue Lake, Michigan. But finding the short grass, the fairway, one actually, of the hardest things to do around here, so we're off to a promising start. I think I'm actually going to just go for that, and we're going to see what happens. Yeah, that's not bad. A little far than, that farther than we'd like to be. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. And it's an inviting one ever so slightly up the hill with just a hint of movement from left to right. Ooh. Yeah, he had a pretty good run at that. So close. It won't go down. Still... Pretty good from there. Safely in. It's a par here at first. And he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder, hard to sink birdie Frank, putts from 40 five, feet away. 597 yards second hole. They give you a chance here. If you can hit a long drive down the left side, it starts to open up. But even a drive that finds the fairway down the right side, you might think it's okay. But chances are you can have a blind second shot. Yeah. Another gorgeous court. Absolutely gorgeous. Just every hole is beautiful. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's try and let's hope we don't end up. Try going for the middle of the fairway and have it roll. Have it. Oh, oh, that's going way right. Oops. Mm, well. Another good tee shot for him to start the round as he gets another fairway here at the second. It's not going to be a completely blind shot by the looks of it. Iona a second. Fairly blind. <laughs> and it's a long and slender hole. Very challenging. And being on the right-hand side makes it even more so. We're looking at a blind second shot. With that pop bunker just 35 yards short of the green, making it even more tough. That should be fine. And we're going to stay away from that. I think she called it a pot bunker, but it literally just looks like a hole into the pits of hell. I mean, oops, can I rotate? Oh, it's not from that. Okay, let's, um, say, like, if I spin, can I spin, spin? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that. You can't even look at the hole. Okay, never mind. 
All right, so um, it is. Sorry, what is it? It is kind of into the wind, slightly downhill. Mm, I think I want to come up a little short. It looks like it's going to come basically straight down, so honestly. You probably want it to land, like, about there. Mm, you know what? It's probably going to... I bet you it's going to spin. Let's let's try that and just see. Oh no, that rolled. Ah! I was uh, completely thrown off by the and by the angle of work, blue thingy. End up okay. <sighs> uh, oh, opportunity at two and Nota Begay <laughs> is down there. Holy crap! How am I and not much up or end. downhill here, so speed not a consideration. All that needs to be looked at is the movement from left to right. That's still not high enough. Oh. Nah, that might have been a little more break than he was expecting, as that one winds up undercutting the hole. That finished off for a par here with the second, and he's gonna stay two back. I'm still, still, I still don't know the first when it's gonna spin back and when it's not. 188 yard third, best to favor the right side of this massive green to avoid Lake Michigan and those deep bunkers and dunes on the left. Okay, let's not end up over there, eh? Oh, look at that. Look at the green running away from here. Oof, that's that's tough. Okay, let's cut it back here a bit. We want to land it. We want to land it over there somewhere. I hope. going further left than I, I hoped, but it is rolling towards the hole. Don't go too far down. Yeah. All right, That's you take those bad. all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. This is an 11-foot putt. Ooh, oh, it caught yes. it. Yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Nice. And following the opening <laughs> 69, he'll get it to one under for his round here. Frank, this is a big hole right here. The fourth, it is almost 500 yards, par four. And you can see the bunkers and the mounding down the right side. Believe it or not, that's actually where you should aim your tee shot and just let the contours move that ball towards the middle of the fairway. That makes sense. Yeah, basically. We want to end up pretty much there. Actually, you know, we might even want to be a little higher. We don't want to land in the rough. Yep. Should be good. Nothing to fault there. Safely in the fairway. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. And the fourth here at Whistling Straits is challenging enough. You just have to find the fairway. That's what we've done here. So, still a chance of making a par or better. Mm. Do we want to end up, do we want to like land on there and have it roll down? That could be good. You know, let's give it a try. It lands on that bank. Oh, it just didn't come off. Oh, man. If it had been like another yard further, that would have rolled down the hill. Ah, oh, what a drag. 
That is a real shame. Uh, we could Texas wedge it. Uh, I think what we're going to do is something like this. I'm gonna move slightly uh, right to left. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And he'll remain one shot back. Now the fifth hole, and Frank, what a par five. Well, strategic par five. It's almost the shape of an S. That's why it's called snake. Um, the best and most conservative way to play this hole is just simply play it as a three-shotter. Tee shot down the left, second shot up there, and then just take the wedge in. Yeah, I mean, we do not have the capacity to go this way. <laughs> there's literally, there's nowhere to go over there anyway. We'd have to clear all that stuff, so. That's fine, that's fine. Let's try and stay around there. That's going a little bit straighter than I would like. starting a hair right. But it's in the fairway, that's fine. Just didn't get as much roll as we would have liked. Oh, he gets a little lucky there and even bounces back into the fairway. So, in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. That's drifting a little more left than I would like. <sighs> the beauty of this par five, so many different ways to play it. You can be a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the second shot, but really, it's going to be about the third shot today. How mm. close can you hit it? Oops. Am I landing at about there? Oh, that rolled out way again. Why is why are the wedges okay, rolling out? To do like but that. safely on it. the green. Hmm. Now this for birdie, and a bit of concern here coming straight down the hill. But one thing in his favor, there isn't a whole lot of break. Oh, oh, it caught ah, it. The pace absolutely Woo. perfect there down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And he moves to two under for his round and minus five overall. Ready to hit the tee shot here at the sixth. Frank, where are you looking to land the ball off the tee here? Well, Rich, finally uh, a par four that's not overly long. There's a little bunker down the left. That's about 250 yards. Shouldn't have a problem carrying that, but it's the next two, just up ahead around the 330 mark. Just keep it a little short of that, short iron in. Um, I mean, that should be fine, actually. We end up sort of over there, and it rolls. Let's go slightly that way. We land up on that, that bank, and it runs down. Oh, we're actually further down than I thought. And that will do just fine. Iona, a second coming up. Yeah, and this sixth hole is the shortest on the front nine, known as Gremlin's Ear. That's because of the unique shape of this green. Thankfully, the pin today is in the front portion. Definitely more accessible, but beware of those bunkers short right. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I, I still don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing with these. Uh, I might be a little. That's a lot short. Is he gonna rip back? Yeah. See now, it, this time it ripped back. I guess it is. It did land on a hill, but still. Oh man, it looked good initially, but rolled off the green and back into the fairway. Mm -hmm. That stings. Not great. Uh, I mean, 
could do that. That's probably not going to get there. This is probably also... Can I go a little longer? Yeah. Um, so we do have the wind. Try that. Out there. A little bit short, but that's acceptable. Coming up short with the second shot was the issue, but a beautiful use of the flop shot and a good chance to escape with a par. Nicely read there. It is a par here at the sixth, and he'll stay at five under. On the seventh tee now, and a tricky 221-yard par three. If you have a look at the way in which Pete Dye has designed this hole, you can see that the green shapes away to the right. So if you can bring the ball in from the left, it's certainly desirable. You bring it in from the left, and yet the wind is blowing in off the... Yes, yes. Well... Um... Hmm. That's gonna roll. I want to be this short, though. Maybe. And up there so that it rolls down towards the hole. I might be a little bit too left. A lot too left. Come on. No. Uh, of course, didn't come off the, the hill. Now I'm going to have a absolutely rough. crappy... So from the rough, Iona's down there. Yeah. Well, this is certainly interesting. To the left-hand side of the green here at 7, chipping back towards Lake Michigan off a slight downslope. This will test your nerve. Oh, no kidding. I can't even see. I literally couldn't even see my character. That was basically perfect speed, though. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And this will stay a one-shot lead. Oh, I'm now in the lead. Onward to the 506-yard par 48 with over 100 bunkers. The eighth testing every golfer's nerves. Imperative to favor the left side to avoid a severe drop-off to Lake Michigan and dunes and bunkers on the right. The bunkers on some of these holes is just wild. Anyway, okay. Yeah, we probably want to be sort of in there somewhere. Should be good. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. 195 yards, not bad. Noticeable breeze coming right to left as he eyes his second. Hmm. Kind of terrifying to be aiming there, but there you go. Yep, that is turning just the way we want. Still too long. Oh my goodness, way too long. I clubbed down twice. Well, had a good look what at the What more do I have to do? Couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Ugh. Um. What is about there? Wait, it's rolling that way. Let's land it there. Once again, I can't even see my character. Can I? How do I? How do I move my camera angle? No. Uh, that's better. There we go. Kind of a weird angle to be doing this, but... Oh! 
Yes! Yeah, what a <laughs> shot, and what a time for that. A whole out birdie, and he will surge into the lead. Whew. Okay. Headed to the clubhouse now for a oh, hot dog and a soda about that. turn. But first, a little bit of business here with this par 4 ninth. And this is going to take a straight tee shot. Uh, trouble on both sides of this fairway. Also, be very, very aware of the shape of this fairway. It's downhill and slopes left to right. Right, we've we got wind basically just helping us. So, um, probably landing right about there should be... Uh, actually, uh, can we just maybe change that back? Thank you. Nice and straight. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Yeah, it wouldn't take much more. You'd roll all the way down that hill. 325 yards. Nice. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. And it is a tough par four to finish this front nine. Being in this section of the fairway has opened up the green nicely, but beware of Seven Mile Creek that snakes its way down the right-hand side. Kind of terrifying. Um, I want to do it basically there. That's ah, a little short, but... Not terrible. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. Gonna have to take pretty much a full swing at this one with the putter because this one is into the hill and the hole is cut back. Ooh. Yep, not that bad. Was... Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that's going to be a three under 33 on this front side. Not bad. So we begin this backside with the par 4 tenth. It's 391 yards. This one's all about positioning. You want to try to keep it down the left side of the fairway because there's that deep bunker on the right. That's a 240 yard carry. That's a pretty good poke. Uh, this is slightly into the wind, but uh, we should be able to. Oh, no, we will not be able to get it there. Um, I guess we can draw it. Um, try drawing it to there. Oh, I think that hit br branches. Oh, God. Well, mm, I thought maybe that ball could get through, but instead it's down. <laughs> Why into are you the heavy smiling stuff. about that? It's a mess. Gonna take an extra club or two to get out of this mess as he sets for his second. Where are we even? We're, we're aiming there, but where's the the like the the uh, indicating that the, with the wind it's gonna be like. Sure. Hmm. We're not getting to the green, but we got out of that mess at least. We got ourselves into a new mess. Okay, so good work there to get this back out into the short grass. And really, this is not a bad spot to be, just a little short of the green. Certainly not out of the question to get away with a par. Okay. Um. Oh, that's gonna roll. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you for not rolling too far. And that, a little beyond the hole, but a good shot. Right about nine feet here to the hole. Nice, ah, right Safely in the heart. In. It's a par here at Ooh, the 10th. That was a And this will remain one. a one-shot advantage. 
645 yard par 5 11th. They call this hole the sandbox, and hopefully, Frank, you're not picking up the shovel here. Yeah, I don't care who you are. If you're reaching this par 5 and 2, then uh, you don't belong on this planet. <laughs> That is a bit more left than I'd like, but it should be okay. Looking oh, for yeah. a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to Don't get set up for in. the Excellent. weekend. Thank and you very much. Another good drive here. Still well over 300 yards to the flag. So Man. getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. I went a long way. Quite a few of my drives don't go that far. Whoa. Okay, so 60 degree. We got the finesse. We're probably going to end up uh, blowing over the green, most likely. I don't know what else I can do. I can try bring it down a little. Let's see. Yeah, well. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. A birdie putt here at the 11th. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And he's opened up a two-shot lead here in round two. Up next, it is the number 18 handicap hole, but don't be fooled. The 163 yard par 312 has the most challenging green at Whistling Straits. I think we were further back last time, right? Ugh. Well, it's kind of horrifying to be uh, going for something like that, but uh, sure. That should be good, though. It doesn't roll out too much. Okay, just left yeah. of the hole, and now a putt for birdie coming up. Ooh, that's moving 14 fast. feet to the hole. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. That one safely in, and it's a par here at 12. And he'll stay at seven under. On to the 13th, and this part for Frank, they lovingly call cliffhanger. How do you deal with these 402 yards, Frank? Really, you've got to pick a, a spot down the left side. Even where the rough is, isn't really such a bad line. Keep it down there, let everything kick to the right, but you have to avoid missing right here. Now go right over there and you're in big trouble. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Wing coming from his right as he gets set for his second. Mm. Whoa. No, I can't. Ugh, it's either one or the other. Both of them kind of suck. Um, let's... Once again, not sure if it's going to roll or not. So let's try... Ending it there and see if it rolls out a little. That's short. And ripping back away from the hole. Oh, and it's rolling down a massive hill. Well, 
Not exactly where That's we a head scratcher. That approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. Holy crap, look at this thing. Um, yeah. That's acceptable from that uh, distance. Yeah, that a pretty that good angle. run. A little short, but that's not bad. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll remain right where he is. Not bad. Now to the par 4 14th. It is a dog leg left about 396 yards. Yeah, it really narrows up around that 300 yard mark. So this is another hole really where you don't need a driver, but somehow you've got to get that ball in the fairway. Remember, 250 yards only leaves 145 in. Ooh, that's not going quite as far right as I would have liked, but. And be okay. no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. Angle's gonna be not totally ideal. Back right hole location here as he gets set for his second to the par four. Hmm. That's gonna be well short, isn't it? Okay, well, don't have a lot of choices here. Let's try blending it around there. short and ripping wow ripping back yes I, I did land on a hill a bit more it's gonna come back and come to rest mm. just off the front edge of the green I uh, can't do a lop that distance can I maybe I can't it is uphill yeah let's try that Not terrible. Good chance to save par after that beautiful flop shot. Looked in trouble there at one stage. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And he'll stay right where he is. Now we arrive at the 503 yard par 415, beginning of a four hole stretch, rivaling any four hole stretch in championship golf. Hang on tight. Uh, way downhill. Cool. Um, probably want to be basically in the middle there. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Hey, mm. that's a three wood. That's just going to go right off the green. Let's, let's aim right for the middle of the fairway. I mean, middle of the green. A little bit more, a little bit harder of a hit from the. Okay, it's still running yet, but. Well, sure. Well, gonna be a lengthy putt for Birdie, but on a long approach like that, anything on the green is a welcome sight. Oh, oh. Yeah, so you close. can't do much better than that. That could run forever if you don't get the right speed. That's a nice job. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll remain right where he is. Getting set to take on the finishing holes here at Whistling Straits. How do you close this out on the right foot, Frank? Well, this is the shortest of the four par fives at 568 yards. There's a big crop of bunkers down the right side. Just a driver off those is certainly going to make this par five reachable. 
I don't know if I'm able to reach it. I, I'm. I just don't quite have enough length. Just what for, you want uh, at this point in the round. You're trying to find to a rhythm. Land it hit on fairways, get to the hit green the the and stop face. it. That's what they did right there. Yeah, that's gonna be. It's right in the back too. So okay. So we're basically gonna go there. Well, a little short, that's fine. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three wood trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. He seems pretty happy about that, so. <laughs> Spinner. I gotta practice with these spinners and stuff to see what, what the different things do. Runner. And just a pitch. Pitch to. There, maybe. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. That just seems like it came out way hotter. Just a little beyond the hole, but. And I anticipated, handy but right that's there. fine. We're still putting for birdie, it's and it's not too far away. Make percentage from here. This for birdie. Yeah. Ah, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. And that is going to push him into the lead here on this Friday. Was well, in Frank, the lead. We know that Pete changes. Dye has given the world some intimidating par threes, most notably the 17th at TPC Sawgrass. He says this one is even more fearsome. And the reason why is the drop off on the left. It's uh, 20 feet below the level of the green. Then you've got the sand dunes on the right. We do sort of speckled with bunkers as well. And then there's a little sliver of green grass in between. That's the green. That's, oh, that's where my three wood's gonna end up? Mm. The roll though, I gotta anticipate the roll. Let's maybe think about landing it here and have it roll, hopefully towards the hole. further left than I would have liked. Oh, that's not going to be good. Don't roll into the bunker. Okay, sure, roll into the bunker. Why not? Got to be careful of this ball checking up too soon as he'll try to get this just right. Um, I basically just end it like here. Going downhill, so. That's pretty good. Boy, that was on an aggressive line. Couldn't quite get it to stop, and that will be left for par. Yeah, that's good punt. It is in for par here at 17. And the lead's gonna remain two. Hey, Brewer fell back. Unquestionably, the best finishing holes in golf require your best shots. You wanna win the championship, you need to deliver down the stretch. 520 yards, par 4, 18th here at Whistling Straits. You can come in with a shorter iron if you take the aggressive line off the tee, but that's a 270-yard carry over the dunes and bunkers. If you want to play it safe, you go down the right side. That's going to leave you a longer Ooh, shot in. Right. You make four here, you will have earned it. You make three, you will have likely won it all. That ended up basically perfect, though. 306 yards. Frank, this approach to 18, it will test you in every way. Yeah, even off a good tee shot, it's a difficult second. And uh, this is one that you really have to think, perhaps maybe hitting that second shot a little right of center. That could have... Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I gotta do to uh, keep these things from rolling. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never gonna stop. 
flop. Um, quite a bit in the wind. Dumped it. <laughs> uh, that's a good cut to save par here at 18. And that will be a second straight Ooh, round. In achievement the 60s. of a clean a sheet. 67 here in round two. No. So um, will this be the no week bogeys. that our featured golfer claims that first ever title? Frank, it's looking promising through 36 holes. It is, and to just make that final leap to become a winner on the PGA Tour. Well, that's what's in front. It seems simple, but the last bit is the most difficult. And by the last bit, you mean two more rounds? Because I'm pretty sure we still have two more rounds. I got more points, that's nice. Don't care about the pro pass. Let's put some points into something. We could put two points into power. Um, driving accuracy. Short game still needs some work for sure. Um, I think I'm actually going to go for power, honestly. Not a lot. You have to... Yeah. You can't make a lot of progress here with power beyond this. After this, I think it's six, right? No, four points for the next one. Yeah, four. Retrain. Oh, that's interesting. Um, four points for the next. 10, 17, 25, etc. So it's a little expensive. Oh, that's the total. The so four, six. Um, seven, I guess. Seven, eight. Yeah, it gradually gets more expensive. Uh, I think that is probably going to be okay. Power approach, power drive. It also gives another version of the hack. That's another, like, I guess an upgraded version of power, uh, power approach. Gold version of hack, etc. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what it is, right? This one gives us the, like the bronze version of power approach. This one gives us bronze version of power drive and the silver version of hack. If you have enough approach recovery, which we do power approach. Silver version, and then silver power drive and gold hack, and then gold power drive and gold approach. But we need driving accuracy for that too. Right, okay. Well, that is where we will leave it uh, there. So we're currently, well, once again in the lead. We're not tied for the lead this time. We actually have a lead. So we will see you guys in the next round. Take care.